Hi everyone, this is Sun Young from Live More Beauty. I hope you're doing well. Really excited to share this follow along gua sha massage for puffy, tired eyes. For me personally, I find that this gua sha massage routine works best when you do this in the morning to help you put your best self forward. But you can do this in the middle of the day or at night. Whichever works best for you, depending on your schedule, and it still feels amazing. And let's check in with our posture here. So, really feeling yourself grounded to the earth, lengthen your spine here, feeling the lifting energy all the way to the crown of your head here. Tuck your ribs in and tailbone down. This will really help protect your lower back. Open your chest here and we can roll our shoulders back and down a few times. Nice rolling motions here, opening up our shoulders and our chest. Most of us have a tendency to hunch forward, so this is a great way to counteract the hunching. Then relax your neck here, lengthening and bring your chin parallel to the floor and we're going to relax our face here so relax your forehead relax between your brows soften your gaze nice and gentle and relax your jaws here unhinge your jaws and gently lift the corners of your lips here and it's powerful how having a smile on our face can be for our mood and emotions. Now that we have the posture checked in here, we encourage you to bring awareness to your posture throughout, especially your shoulders relaxed, your core engaged, and your tailbone down to really help you get the most out of the Gua Sha Massage. Then we're gonna do an eye exercise. We're going to look in one direction, clockwise, and then counterclockwise three times. And making sure you're not moving your body here, so keeping your body straight. And then we're just going to start from the top here. So looking up and then to the sides, and then bringing it back up. Two more here. And now we're going to switch the direction counterclockwise. So the other direction here. Two more. And this is great for really helping to strengthen your eye muscles here and reducing the strain, especially because so many of us are using laptops, computers, and smartphones. So this is a great way to really help prevent the strain and the weakening of the eye muscles. So now let's come back to our body and our breath here. So you can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, gently close your eyes and we're going to inhale deeply through our nose here exhale side out two more breaths here inhale deeply through your nose exhale let it all go One more here, inhale deeply to your nose. And let it out, we're going to do a little ah sound here. Ah. Coming back to your natural breath, letting go of control here. Gently open your eyes. Then we're going to prep our skin with Illuminating Facial Serum. This is the facial serum that I use to address especially my eye area. The eye area tends to be one of the thinnest, so that's why it tends to show the visible signs of aging and 
any signs of inflammation or lack of blood flow, for example, shows up quickly in these areas here. So this is what I use for my eye area. Many of you ask me if I use a separate eye cream. I, I just use Illuminating Facial Serum also as my eye cream. So if you're looking to minimize your skincare products, you can try this out for yourself as well. So I'm gonna get one pump for my whole face here. You can do half a pump to one pump. Just listen to your skin and adjust accordingly. So I'm gonna get one pump here, like so. I'm going to mix it with water. So my hand's wet here and I'm going to mix it together, like so. <sighs> Getting ready for an amazing gua sha massage for puffy, tired eyes. So we're going to gently press it all into our skin here. Making sure your skin is clean when you're doing this step here and also on our neck as well and our chest. And then on our hands here, our hands show signs of aging as well. So making sure you give love to these areas as well, as well as on our nails, like so. And now we're going to begin Gua Sha Massage for puffy, tired eyes. Make sure your Gua Sha tool is clean here. My Gua Sha tool is clean. So we're going to begin with the under eye area first. I love how the Gua Sha tool stays cool when you apply it and it feels so amazing, especially during the hot summer months. So we're going to place our hand here as a nice little leverage and place our Gua Sha tool parallel to our skin here and then gently run it across to the edge and when you get to the edge here you can apply a little bit more pressure the eye area you want to be really light here and since it's delicate you don't need to put a lot of pressure but once you get here where it's a temporal muscles you can apply more pressure for an acupressure so just putting some acupressure here and making sure to breathe and your posture, bringing awareness here, tucking your core in, tailbone down, shoulders relaxed, jaws relaxed. Then we're gonna do two more swipes here. So nice and gently. And then once you get to the edge here, apply acupressure. If it's tender in these areas, uh, you can put less pressure and as you get more comfortable, you can apply a little bit more pressure. So just listen to your body and your skin here. One more here, like so. Parallel. And at the edge, apply acupressure. Then we're going to do the other side here. So using your hand as your leverage, we're going to place the tool parallel and then run it across like so. It feels so good when you do this for yourself here. Everything is connected. So if you're having issues around your eye area, it's really helpful to address the other areas that are near to it because it's all connected here. And we're going to do two more. Like so. <sighs> Bringing awareness to your posture here. Jaws relaxed, face relaxed. 
breathing into any tension here, releasing and healing. One more here. Off to the sides and applying acupressure on your temples here. Breathing, letting go any judgments or expectations of how it should be or how it should look. Just feel here. Then we're going to do the over here, the upper part of your eye here. So using your hand as a leverage and gently placing the tool parallel against your skin here and put it off to the sides and apply acupressure. This time a little bit higher than the previous. So just putting some pressure here. And this is such a relief, especially if you have any migraines or headache symptoms so just really helping to release any tensions stress anxiety blockages that we carry on our faces here two more so putting it parallel and running it off to the sides and putting some acupressure here. And this is also really amazing for TMJ symptoms as well. Just breathing here, easing into it. And one more. You can always explore these areas to see what feels good for you and make this your own. Rolling your shoulders back and down here. Then we'll do the other side. So gently putting it parallel, putting it off to the sides here and then putting some acupressure a little bit higher than previous then we'll do two more here like so coming back Slowing down your mind here to allow healing to take place. One more, like so. Some parts of the temples can be a little bit more tender or sensitive. So just pay attention here and be gentle with yourself. Then we're going to go up here. So this will really help awaken and lift your eyes so you feel more awake and you look more awake as well. So we're going to put the tool parallel like so and then put it up like this, up to your hairline. One more here. And your third swipe here. Like so. Then we'll do the other side here. Like this. And then putting it up. Like so. One more here. And your third swipe, like so. <sighs> Breathing and letting it all go, what no longer serves you. 
and we'll do the center here. We tend to carry a lot of tension here between the brows, so doing this is really nice. So right here, putting it all the way up to your hairline, wiggle, two more here, like this, one more, like so. And now we're going to apply a little bit of acupressure on certain spots to give you even more relief. So we're going to place our tool like this with the heart shape, like so. And when you do this for yourself, it feels amazing. And just breathe here, relaxing and lengthening your spine. Tuck your core in, tailbone down, shoulders relaxed, your jaws relaxed. Breathe here. You can wiggle it back and forth up and down or in circles and let it go here and we're gonna apply some acupressure right here it's about in between right here so just putting some acupressure right here and breathe add slight movement here to help it release any tightness in these areas. And we'll do the other side. So right here, apply some acupressure here. Doing this really helps you develop a healthier relationship with your body and yourself here. So having that awareness and connection is so powerful for not only for ourselves but also for how we interact with other people as well. So releasing here and we're going to apply nice gentle light pressure right here. So for this area very light here and just breathing, relaxing, letting go here, whatever you've been holding on to. Try to really breathe into it and see if you can release it here. And the other side and just coming back to your breath present in this moment here, letting go of the past, the future, you're here in this moment. Then we're going to bring it all down for an amazing lymphatic drainage. So starting from the eyebrows here, we're going to drag it across, placing it like this off to the sides and wiggle two more here like this the other side like so like this like so so on the way down here we're going to do one last swipe so right here we're going to do the upper eye area like so and one more here. Then we'll do the other side, like so. You can make this gua sha massage routine as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Just listen to yourself here and honor yourself. I'm going slower. For those of you who are doing this for the first time, you really get a chance to follow along and not feel lost or confused here. And for those of you who have been doing this, it's always good to slow down and really treat yourself because we have a tendency to go too fast and we feel like the world is wanting us to go faster too. So just 
really bringing intention to slow down and live with intention. That's key here. <laughs> so, one more. And we'll do the under. Exhale. Like this. One more here. If you are in a rush, you can always just do the eye portions with the movements around here with the acupressure to make it fit your busy schedule if you need to. So just really tailor this to yourself. Then we're going to do the upper cheek here, dragging it to the sides and wiggle. One more here, like so. The other side. From the side of your nose and dragging it up to the sides, wiggle. One more, like so. Then we'll do the under the cheek area here. So from the center of your lips, drag it up to the sides here, like so. The other side, like so. And then we'll do our jawline here. Applying acupressure here. As always, just listen to your body and your skin and apply pressure according to what you need here. You don't have to a lot of pressure or too little. So just see what feels right to you. And we'll do one more. For me, I like medium to a little bit high pressure in these areas. So just listen and adjust. Some days you might want more pressure, some days you might want less pressure. Just honor yourself here. Then we'll do the other side, like so. And like so, putting it parallel and apply acupressure and off to the side. Then we'll do under here, so under our chin area and wiggle. One more here, wiggle the other side. I always recommend doing this one here, especially if you have double chin concerns. And then we're going to drag it all up to our hearts for the amazing lymphatic drainage. Now we dragged it all up to the side here. So gliding it downwards towards our heart. The other side. Like this. Feels amazing. Like this. And now we're going to clean our gua sha tool with warm water and soap for your next gua sha massage for puppy tired eyes. So my gua sha tool is wet here and I'm going to soap it both sides. Being really careful here, we always recommend placing a towel underneath you during your massage to really protect your tool just in case if you drop it by accident and you're not as familiar with this tool. So I'm massaging it here gently, soaping it. So I have clean gua sha tool here and I'm going to use a soft towel to dry it like this. Being very gentle here and careful, 
protecting your precious gemstone gua sha tool and I'm going to place my clean dry gua sha tool in our Lamore caring pouch like this for added protection and portability wherever you go so I'm going to put that aside and this is totally optional you don't have to do this but I highly recommend it we're going to gently rub our hands between, like so, creating heat here. And we're going to place it gently over your eyes, like so. <sighs> Breathing here. Feeling the warmth. Relaxing the muscles around your eyes, sending love, kindness, and compassion to yourself. <sighs> Gently open your eyes here. And to wrap it up, we're going to drink a cup of water to help hydrate our body and our skin from the inside out. So cheers to health. <sighs> well, we just showed you our Gua Sha massage routine for puffy, tired eyes that you can do easily at home. In terms of how often to do this, our answer is whenever you need it. But as always, consistency is key here to see and maintain your results. So at least once a day is always recommended. It can be in the morning, middle of the day, or at night, whichever works best for you. Once a day is a great place to start. In the description below, you will find the products that are used in this video, as well as more massage videos that you may also enjoy watching for your viewing anytime. If you enjoyed this video, you found this video helpful, and you're feeling amazing, your eyes feel amazing, please like, share, and subscribe for more holistic wellness videos and please join our membership by clicking join button on our channel below. Your love and support really means a lot to us. I'm grateful to be able to do this with you lovelies all over the world. May you carry this sense of peace and grace with you wherever you go. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Love and take care. Bye-bye.